is going on YouTube. It is Captain Nether back again, and we're on the Japanese side here because I'm trying to show you guys it's New Year's. Um, you know, granted, it's not the unit we all wanted, but it's still it's a New Year's celebration. And this is for new players looking to get into One Piece Treasure Cruise. This is the perfect time to get in on the action. So we obviously have the New Year's banner here. We get a free multi for the opportunity to get one of the new legends, either the Anniversary Odin and Toki Slasher Unit, Dual Unit, or you can get the Yamato Luffy Dual Unit, both of which are very good. I would say that the Luffy and Yamato is probably a little bit better just because they do more. Um, you know, obviously, veteran players might scoff at the idea of this new unit that, you know, yeah, they're good, but... Are they really someone that we want to dive headlong in? Well, for new players, you definitely should because they're a unit that can carry you for quite a while in this game being the first dual unit, actually just first legend in general to get a six times attack buff, which is amazing. So for new players, you're probably wondering, who do I want to get? Who do I want to reroll for? Well, obviously, you have the two new legends who should be a priority because they do so much and they provide so much utility. You also have the Super Tandem Ace, who's also very, very strong and a chain multiplier god. You also have uh, previous Super Sugo Fest units that are on this banner. If you didn't know, every legend um, except, I think, you know, Kizuna and treasure map legends are on this banner. Um, still, we have Super Sugo Fest units that are on the banner, which are also very good to pull, but they are a lower rate. You're more likely to get the brand new anniversary legends than you are the previous Super Tandem, or Super Sugo Fest legends. Um, obviously, and then the, the new rare recruits are also very, very strong. You see we have a Nami up here in the top right, along with a Robin, and then in the top left, you have an Usopp. They provide so much for a new account. Also, if you happen to get the brand new Luffy and Yamato Dual Legend because of how well their synergy works. You also have the brand new game mode, the Pirate King um, Adventure game mode, which the new units are tailor-made for because they also give you increased drops, which is like a new turtle farming event so you can get more gems. This is a decent unit right here, so, you know, it's it's okay. They're not great anymore, but they're still good. So that's where new players should focus their attention on. You, This is obviously the Japanese version, so it's a little bit less Rainbow Gems. Um, currently on the May 12th, for Global, you can get 99. So here we have an Anniversary Unit kid, uh, kid. He's also very good still. Should be getting a 6 plus soon. But for the English side of the game, on May 12th only, you can get 99 additional stones. So as you saw earlier on, I started off with 137 on the Japanese side. On the global side, only on May 12th, you can start with over 200 gems and do your summons for the new anniversary units. That's pretty much all I have to say. Obviously, you want to aim for the new Anniversary Legends. They're going to be very, very strong. Um, if you happen to get some other Super Sugo Fest units like an Odin, um, Strength Odin, Roger, Whitebeard Roger, a uh, bunch of other older units, then that is a bonus. Rayleigh Gabon, a very good unit. So, while yes, your chance of pulling a, a new good unit is low, because of the fact that there are so many legends on this banner, you have an opportunity to pull something fantastic. It's pretty much all I have to say. Very short video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and for all you new players, I hope you nothing but the best. We get three three legends here, so it's also 15% rate, so it's also very, very strong. We got an anniversary legend right here. K-Dad, very, very strong unit. Um, I keep trying to end it, but we get new, exciting, good stuff. Uh, so, you know, obviously, let's let me let me hold off on my my end tangent there until we get to the end. We got a secret red. It's gonna be some good. Marco isn't that great anymore. 
Alright, come on. Please, let's see if we finish off with some amazing, amazing stuff. We still have three? Three or two more legends. I think three. Uh, should be 10, 11, so that's two. I think there's one more in between. Okay, so yeah. This, 10, and 11. Reiju, she's okay for Pirate Rumble defense team. That's pretty much all she's really... Usopp, very, very good rare recruit. So the next two are going to be Legends, so let's see if we get something good. Garp, eh, eh, okay. Not great, but meh. Last legend ticket of the reroll. It's not extended. Ace is yeah, six pluses. Okay. But that's going to be all for me, guys. I hope you enjoy it for all you new players. I hope you nothing but the best of luck in your rerolls. Hopefully, you get some amazing stuff. I'm Captain Nether, and I'm out. Peace.